Ibinida ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ang bagong gawang Clark Airport to New Clark City Access Road na magpapabilis ng biyahe mula sa dating isang oras hanggang sa halos 20 minuto na lamang. Inalahad din niya na ang proyektong ito ay magbubuka sa mas maraming oportunidad sa turismo, negosyo at trabaho para sa mga mamamayan ng Clark City, Pampanga. This Clark International Airport to New Clark City Access Road or ANAR is a key component in boosting the Clark Metropolis as an investment and tourism destination. It is a part of a larger package of Build Better More activities. It aims to enlarge Clark's profile in the global investment map. Projects such as this all convey one message to prospective investors. It conveys the message that we are committed to building world-class infrastructure that can host the business in a high growth area. The government is ready to provide adequate infrastructure and facilities to ensure the growth of their future investments. For example, the modernization of the Clark International Airport has now taken off. The construction of a rail link to Metro Manila is proceeding at full speed. At alam nyo rin lahat na hindi lang pang negosyo, hindi lang pang turismo, pang sports pa ang Clark dahil we are also building a Clark's physical capital. We are upskilling the required human capital that will run businesses and do, will drive prosperity. Clark can now host a wide range of economic activities including innovation labs, creative workshops, manufacturing concerns, leisure complexes, and a cyber corridor. If food happens to be the concern, then Clark is in the heartland of an agricultural powerhouse, not to mention the powerful draw and the seductive aroma of Kapampangan cuisine. In short, the Clark metropolis has what it takes to be a mecca for tourists, a magnet of investments, and a market of goods and services. We must leverage these attributes to, into higher visitor traffic attracting more investments that generate better jobs and spur economic activity. This road is much more than just an access road. It is part of our plan to propel Clark as an alternate growth area. It is a red carpet rolled out to those who will partake in all the best things that Clark can offer. It shows the path forward of building better more So we will never lose our competitive advantage because unlocking the full potential of Clark is a continuing task. So I ask you and the BCA, BCDA to ensure the completion of the remaining works for this 20-kilometer highway. Once fully operational, I understand that you will open it tomorrow. Once operational, it will reduce travel time between the Clark International Airport and New Clark City from one hour to 20 minutes. It will also save commuters money as NR is toll-free. Going by BCDA's track record, I trust in the quality of the workmanship of this uh, road and in your commitment to observe the relevant procurement rules, laws, and regulations. I have also noticed that this bold vision radiates from the elegant architecture of the edifices that you have built here. For instance, Sakobia Bridge has been attracting its fair share of visitors as its own tourist destination. The world-class design of the new Clark International Airport Terminal has earned international recognition. It is hailed by the UNESCO Pre Versailles as one of the most beautiful airports in the world. So I thank the engineers, the architects, private partners, and the Basis Conversion and Development Authority led by Chairman Delphine Lorenzana and Engineer Joshua Binkang, the BCDA President and Chief Executive Officer, for your hard work. BCDA's performance is not merely narr narrated on ink and paper and in reports long archived. Your triumphs have become part of the country's landscape, utilized and visited by millions of people daily. These booming, Breath breathtaking sights from Bonifacio Global City to McKinley Hill to Newport City to New Clark City attest to the transformative power of repurposing state assets. Military lands converted into economic centers are the concrete proof of the prosperity BCDA has unleashed. 
There is no better proof than, of this than Clark. And this is why the BCDA has earned the reputation as a reliable, credible, professional partner in public-private ventures, setting the template for mutual cooperation that benefits the public. All of these, while faithfully complying with one of its major mandates of remitting its earnings to fund the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines. The BCDA has contributed 59.71 billion pesos for the equipment, weaponry, vehicles, vessels, and structures used by our armed forces. So indeed, the BCDA has a major role to play in the Bagong Pilipinas vision that all Filipinos are working hard to achieve. Your contribution to Bagong Pilipinas goes beyond your physical inventory of projects delivered, planned, and being built. The BCDA's contribution to the Bagong Pilipinas would also include a culture of excellence, of innovation, of foresight, and of industry. So congratulations to you all for this very, very fine day when we celebrate the continuing development of Clark. At mabuhay po kayong lahat. Mabuhay ang Bagong Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Thank you, Mr. President.